production today I have the pleasure to present you the new Axiom version 2 plugin by Blue Cat Audio. So let's start this video uh, saying that I've already tested uh, time ago the Axiom version 1 and I was really amazed by the complexity of this plugin because it was really complex to use. You had to have some knowledge about amplifier and also about the reaction between some stuff. So it was really, really complicated. But now has been introduced the so-called easy mode, which grant the ability to use the Action version 2 in really easy way. But if you are a bit nerd like me in guitars environment, you can still use the Axiom in a really complex mode. So I'll show you in a moment. In this video, of course, I'll show you the improvement that have been done in this uh, Axiom version 2. But of course, not all because have been done a really huge amount of work uh, for this version 2. So you have the link in the description to go directly to the Blue Cat Audio website and see the Axiom version 2, all the changes, all the change log, all the improvement and features. Today I show you five new features. The first feature is that has been redesigned completely the uh, GUI and as you can see it's really really cool to see in my opinion has been redesigned something has been redesigned uh, the colors also some improvement in the usability okay then i'll show you the new easy mode which is really really useful to use it for example when you do live because you don't want to see a lot of stuff on your screen but you want to see only easy stuff is here easy button here and as you can see it's really easy you can see all in compact way your amplifier, the tuner here and here, the buttons that you can customize to achieve all the effects you want. So really, really easy, as the button says. Other cool feature is the re-guitar features that normally you can find in a separate software in the Axiom version 2 is built in, so is included the re-guitar. You can use this feature not only for uh, changing the, the color and the sound of the pickups, but also to use with piezo, so with your acoustic guitar, not to try to recreate acoustic sound with your electric guitar. Well, you can do that, but this has been also designed to use with your RIA acoustic guitar. And I'll show you in a moment because I've prepared a preset for this uh, purpose. Then now there is the ability to record and play back some audio inside the Axiom 2. So you don't need a DO if you want to record over a, a playback sound. So it's really easy and useful if you want to play with backing track and make your practice. And last but not least, have been designed some new amplifier for metal. So of course we will see these new amplifiers. Before I jump into the sound and into the review of this Axiom 2, I want to say that today I show you some of my presets that I've made especially for this review. All my presets will include my custom impulse responses and if you are a member of my YouTube page you have the link down below to download directly in the community section. If you are not my member, well this is a great opportunity to join my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So let's jump into the review. On the left, as you can see, you have the input. You have also the meter for the input. You will always hear the tune under your high. So if you click, you can tune your guitar really great. Here you have the output. And as you can see, this axiom is really complete, not only for guitar. You can use this for every kind of instruments. But of course, you have a lot of amplifier to use with uh, guitars, of course. But as you can see, it's built in the way that you can use like uh, 80 guys. So with the rack, as you can see, you have all the pre-rack, let me say, you can load also VST. So you can load here also 
30 part VST. This is really great. You can select here and load whatever you want. As you can see, you have lots of stuff, guys. And use this as input rack and output master rack. And then, of course, all the pre effects like stone boxes and also post effects. So, where you usually use this for the FX loop, for example. And here, your amplifier. So it's a really complex software, but amazing to use and really for creative people. But you can also use this in really easy mode. So let's see the new uh, redesigned stuff. So you can also customize, as you can see, this amplifier. So you can choose the amplifier that you want from the factor presets. For example, you can choose, uh, for example, new high gain. And as you can see, you have lots of amplifier, for example, something for seven strings, harms, as you can see here, let's scroll. You can see also from the uh, GUI which kind of amplifier are there. So some Marshall style, some Soldano style. So let's see, for example, um, metal here. Of course, this is the uh, AVH style, metal combo. You can also listen something without the phaser. <laughs> Okay, so for example, you have chosen this kind of amplifier, and this is basically the rectifier, triple rectifier, but if you want, you can also customize the visualization. Maybe on the live is better for you to, to see what is going on. So you can go here on the E, and as you can see, uh, has been popped up all the so-called destructor. So this is the structure of the amplifier. So you have here the preamp, the destructor, which is basically the, the kind of saturation you can uh, place, and the post filter, which is, of course, the cabinet. For example, you want to change the visualization here, you can go on this arrow and you can change the knobs as you want, for example, black, again, you can choose, for example, this is kind of wood, stove knobs, black, dark and black. I don't know. You can choose and you can change whatever you want. Of course, the sound is the same. You are not changing the sound. You are changing only the color, the visualization. It's up to you. It's a feature that, if you want, you can also don't use. It's only for your eye, for your uh, live, for example. Let me show you, for example, that you can customize your easy mode. So this is the easy mode. You can uh, click here. And as you can see, you have always the tuner, always the amplifier and something that you can change. As you can see, you have the noise gate that you can bypass or not. You can also customize this in MIDI. So you can send this to your MIDI device. Really cool. Overdrive, phaser, EQ, on and off, analog, reverb. But let me uh, explain you how to customize all because it's really important to customize this as you want because you can also customize in only one button whatever kind of thing you want. So you can go to control map. For example, let's add a new control. Uh, let's call it med control, for example. And then you can add whatever you want. You can also learn so you can touch basically what you want or you can do it uh, manually. Let's go here, add, let's say I want to customize uh, the post, the reverb. Yes, but not only the reverb, which parameter of the reverb? Well, for example, I want to customize the length and you can decide the minimum, for example, let's say one and the maximum, let's say something like eight seconds. Okay, so let's close it and now I have here my main knob and I can now go to easy mode. It's here. 
as you can see, is here in the easy mode, in my, basically, in my pedal board. You can, of course, control this with your mouse or you can also control it with your MIDI device. Very short. But for example, I want to control uh, maybe also the, the gain. So let's go again to the control here. So here on the same med control, I want to add also something from the amplifier. So amplifier A, the parameter, for example, is the gain, which is, I don't know, because there are a lot of <laughs> parameters you can customize. Post gain, mm, no, it's a pre-gain. A few moments later. Where is? Oh, here it is. Pre. Pre what? Pre gain. Here it is. Okay, so let's say with a short room, I want to use it. Uh, I, I have to understand the amount of this uh, in, in, in decibel. So let's say like this and this like this. I don't know. Okay, let's try. Oh yeah, it's working, great. So let's see in the easy mode. Low gain and short room. High gain and long room. Now let's see another preset that I've made, for example, the Mad Chaga IR. This is with this new letter kind of amplifier, and this is basically the Soldano. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And here is my custom impulse response that I can show you here. You can load your impulse response as you can see here in the amp editor destructor. Here is the amplifier, is the Soldano. Also the destructor part is from Soldano and this is my impulse response. So it's really complicated curve. And the really cool thing is that you can also change this. So as you can see here, the equalizer, you can also change this. So for example, I've basically implemented some of the bass here because there is this hole and you can really change whatever you want. On the bottom, as you can see, you have this knob. This is to load your impulse responses. So you can go here, load IR, whatever you want. And here you can see the visualization. This is the IR, for example, from the David Laboga tight pack from the Manzer 30 speaker and Lotan Audio LS 208 um, microphone. So it's a really boutique microphone. And this is the sound. <laughs> If you want, you can load, uh, for example, the custom cabinet, let's say something from the factory guitar cabs, um, 4x12, you have a lot of cabinets here, for example, the 4x12 modern method, and as you can see, this is the cure, and as you can listen... <laughs> I always suggest that you use impulse responses because are really tight and really precise in the sound. So you can change, you can see also the curve. You can also apply the flat curve and I suggest you to apply flat curve before you use your impulse responses because 
otherwise will be applied with the curve so it, it will be really strange so let's go here on the factory basic and go to flat basically here is without any cabinet <laughs> Let's now engage, for example, my own custom impulse responses. So here I have to load my IR. So here I can choose from whatever I want. Impulse responses. Here I have a lot of packs. For example, the WGS Retro 30. It's a pack that if you want, you can also download from the net. For example, with the S Electronics R1, which is a ribbon microphone. To, and let's choose the position. Uh, this is of axis, position number two, and this is the equalization, really, really uh, precise. Let's change, for example, the position maybe in position number one, which is really center, and there is just a bit more uh, bright sound. Let's choose, for example, another kind of microphone with the same speaker, Jay-Z V11, position number one. Okay, now let me show you another preset, for example, the Mad Plexi AR, and then finally I'll show you the acoustic preset. This is a Plexi sound with, of course, some really similar to the JMP, I guess. Let's see. It's a bright new Plexi that you can find inside. And of course, this is the WGS Green Barrett S Electronics R1 microphone. <laughs> Sounds really, really great, guys. Now, let me show you that you can also record directly without the use of the DO. So let's go here in the easy mode, for example. And here, as you can see, you have the record button. You have also some playback button because you can also load your own backing track, for example. So let's say that you want to record. Let's record. <laughs> Okay, let's go now to the folder, and as you can see, here is the folder where you have all the recordings. Let's play. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You don't need any dough to record and all the recordings will go to your hard drive, of course. So let me show you now with the acoustic guitar. So let me swap. Okay, let's now choose for example, my acoustic guitar preset, and let me show you how it works. As you can see, there are a lot of things in this acoustic guitar preset because as you can see, I'm using also third party plugins. For example, here, as you can see, I have the API and I can also show you, for example, in not in easy mode, but here, as you can see, I can show you that this is a compressor from Waves. Then I can close it and I have here the PTE, which is the pool tech as you can see from Wave, so you can load also third-party plugins. And for this reason, this uh, Axiom is a really great complex plugin that you can really create whatever kind of sound you want. So here I have, for example, the, the tuner, if I want, you have always on my visualization. So let's listen how it sounds. Here I have all at the noon, so bass, mid and treble are the same at five, at half position, volume all the way up and let's listen. So as you can see here, of course, I have the amplifier, but it's bypassed because I wanted to make it sound like a real guitar, for example. So this is an acoustic guitar with the piezo. And as you can see, I'm using the cable here. I'm going directly to the audio interface and I want to make it sound like you have here your microphone. So to, to fake, for example, the, the market app situation. For this reason, I don't want to use the amplifier, but if you want, you can also use it. As you can see here, I have the Ray guitar and here, this is the magic. So here you can choose whatever kind of pickup you are using. For example, right now I'm using the piezo. I want to make it sound like an acoustic with the microphone, as you can see. So you can also choose something on the custom. You can choose here the body. So as you can see, you can choose the thickness of the body, how much bass you want from the body. So let's, let's try out. <laughs> Great. And you can also customize which kind of guitar sound you want to achieve. So for example, the vintage dread, modern, jumbo, mini jumbo, triple O, or you can also change to piezo if you want to use maybe from humbucker to piezo, the contrary. So this is a really great tool in my opinion. You can also change here the brightness. I think this is more for when you use the electric guitar. And of course, as you can see here, I have the, of course, the compressor that is working. Some post equalization. Okay, I've cut some bass here again because I wanted to change something here. I have the chorus and the reverb. But let me show you without the re guitar. This is the sound basically only of my acoustic guitar with the piezo and some post equalization, post um, 
compression. So without the rig guitar. <laughs> some really boxy, some really like a piezo, okay? So this rig guitar helps you a lot to change the sound of the piezo. So this is great to use during a live, maybe on theater, maybe on stage. guys so if you want you have these presets that I've shown you directly in the, the description directly in the community section if you have joined my uh, YouTube channel link in the description to download the Axiom version 2 really great plugin in my opinion it's still a complex plugin but you can also use now in easy mode way so so for people that don't want to customize a uh, lot of things you want to play good to go and great sound so the rig guitar is amazing for the acoustic the easy mode the new feature really great to use the new eye gain amplifier now sounds more like the amplifier so i really like how this axiom 2 sounds guys let me know what you think about and i'll see you in the next video bye